On today's Toy Spot, we're going to be having a look at Marvel Legends Onslaught series, Abomination. Now before we actually look, before we actually look at the figure, let's get a look at the packaging. The packaging um, as, a, as already mentioned, is from the Onslaught series, so collect all six Onslaught series figures and build your own Onslaught. Uh, I know many were disappointed in the fact that Onslaught was so small. Uh, this started to be the trend with Marvel Build-A-Figures. Um, I know plastic at this point started getting rather expensive, so they scaled down a lot of their uh, Build-A-Figure build, build -a -figure, uh, waves. Um, but on the back, on the back of the packaging, the other figures in this wave, uh, we got Blackheart, Lady Deathstrike, we got Abomination, Pyro, Loki, and Green Goblin. Very strong wave, and three figures consisted variants as well, or consisted of variants as well. Uh, the Abomination had a more disfigured face. Uh, of course, the Norman Osborn, very cool variant of Green Goblin. And then also Loki had a variant as well. Uh, I preferred the Loki with the, the horns going up, however, though. And the original Abomination, I think I much prefer over the variant. And of course, collect all of them. And you can build the small yet very impressive onslaught. Um, the read-up on Abomination says, Possessing power and endurance enough to rival even the Incredible Hulk. What? Yeah, I know. Former spy. Emil Blonsky is cursed to walk the earth or walk through life as a grotesque green-skinned abomination forged in the fires of the same gamma radiated uh, hell that spawned the incredible hulk Blonsky retains his intellect and with with it a longing for the wife he left behind Aww. the life forever lost to him enraged beyond human measure the man monster has often unleashed his earth-shattering strength in defiance of his hatred of his hated twin and of course brought to you by the good folks at Toy Biz so let's get this guy opened up and once he's opened up let's get a better look at an abomination so stay tuned guys don't go anywhere alright now that he's out of the package let's look at the fifth Ninja Turtle Salvador um, of course as you know Salvador is named after the very bizarre painter Salvador Dali. Um, what? We mean that. What do you mean it's not Ninja Turtle? Abomination. Oh right, right. Now that Abomination is out of the package, whew, <laughs> I thought he was a Ninja Turtle. Uh, now that he's out of the package, we'll look at Abomination. Um, Abomination includes. If we go to the packaging here, includes. The Incredible Hulk number 25. Number 25. Um, his accessories, he comes first and foremost with a finishing move, plot twist of the Marvel Versus System cards. Also comes with a stand, so if you guys are collecting them, you can uh, display the card in the stand. Although, really, the card, card doesn't sit in the stand well at all. I mean, it's just, just loose, but... There you go. We'll get that out of the way because that's the least interesting part. He also, of course, comes with the arm of Onslaught. And I'll review it more as I build the figure of Onslaught. Um, but I won't do the individual assembled pieces as, as I've been doing with the DC Universe figures. But he comes with a very nice arm of Onslaught. So we'll put the arm aside as well. And we'll look at Abomination. A fantastic figure. In fact, Abomination, if those that remember, was one of the viewers' choice that the review spot had, where you got to pick the next review. Uh, ultimately, it ended up going to Juggernaut, but many did want to see a review of Abomination, so for those who have been waiting patiently for it to happen, now you guys get your chance to see Abomination in his full glory. Um, a, like I said, a fantastic figure. The detailing on, on Abomination is quite spectacular, actually. And I think Abomination is a very good example of a well-built, well-sculpted toy. Um, of course, it comes to us from the good folks at Toy Biz. And as you can see, I mean, the, if you were to compare this to a Hasbro figure, 
or Hasbro Marvel Legend, there really is no comparison whatsoever. I mean, it's night and day when you compare at least sculpts and the paint application done to these figures. Um, as you can see, he's got kind of the reptile eyes. He kind of looks like a steroid creature from Black Lagoon you know, with the ears and everything else. He's got his angry teeth sporting. But uh, I love I love the multiple layers of paint that they've applied to Abomination here. Uh, the one place, sadly, that there is no paint applied is in his uh, shorts, in his workout shorts that he's wearing here. It would have been nice if they had added something there, but I think the fact that the rest of the figure is so nicely painted, I think more than makes up for it. Um, I have one problem with the figure, but it's not really with the figure itself. And I'll get into that as I, as I uh, go through the articulation. Um, but overall, really, really nicely detailed. Really nicely detailed. Um, though many people could joke that he looks like a Ninja Turtle just because of the feet. He's got a very turtle-like foot to him. Now, uh, speaking of articulation, however, he has loads of articulation, and we'll, we'll run through them together. He has a ball-jointed head. You get free range of movement in his head. Um, he has ball jointed shoulders that you can move in and out. Uh, you can swivel the bicep. He has a point of articulation in his elbow. And this is one of the problems I have with this figure so far. And it's just because I know I got him out of the package. I haven't loosened him up yet. Uh, but the joints are extremely stiff. In fact, the one point that I'm having problems with right now is this leg here the what left leg and the the joint the ball joint in his thigh does not want to move and this one's moving fine but this one's giving me resistance right now and I really don't want to try it too much in case in case this leg breaks right off so I'm gonna have to kind of keep him on a tilt for the time being um, back to articulation, however, he's got an articulated hand. Um, he, while he doesn't have... He does seem to have articulation in his... No, he doesn't. It almost looked like he had articulation in his thumb, but he doesn't. It's just the way his thumb was uh, was assembled. It does look like it's a separate piece. It's probably just the way it was sculpted. But he has an articulated uh, four fingers. All four fingers are articulated. There's, they're not independent. Um, you can rotate the waist ever so slightly. I mean, almost to the point that I would say there is no articulation in the waist. Uh, as I mentioned, he's got a ball-jointed leg, so you can move his leg in and out, back and forth. You can rotate the thigh. You can bend the knee two points. And I think the, the coolest articulation on this entire figure is his turtle feet. Um, you can move the feet back and forth. You can swivel them side to side. You can also bend the toe. Uh, so between those three points of articulation you can get lots of positions. You can get the feet in lots of different positions in lots of different poses. Very very cool. Um, just to guys give you, give you guys a, a scale comparison. We'll move Abomination to the side and we'll move in what I always consider is my favorite Hulk. We'll move in the Incredible Hulk from the Marvel Legends Face-Off series, the two-pack that had him and Leader. And as you can see, scale-wise, they're about the same, uh, give or take, that Abomination is just a slight bit taller. Just a slight bit. Um, so overall, it's a, it's a fantastic figure. It's scaled perfectly with the Marvel Legends and to Hulk, of course, as well. It would be make no sense if Abomination is quite a bit higher, but, I mean, they've scaled it perfectly. So we'll move Hulk out of the way. And the overall impression of the figure, it's fan it's a fantastic figure. Uh, the only downside I have to the figure is the fact that there's not enough artic uh, paint application in the, the man trunks. Um, and my biggest problem is the joint. Is the joint in the leg and actually in the elbow. It's just really, really stiff. But, I mean, that's not a figure issue. That's just my individual, the individual one I've got. Um, so I would give a bomb, old abomination here. I'd probably give him a solid eight, and solid eight out of ten. A great figure to pick up, and if you're looking for anyone to pair up with the Hulk, 
then this figure is a no-brainer. An 8 to Abomination. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a toy spot on the Marvel Legends Onslaught series. And that was the Abomination. A fantastic toy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Marvel Legends figure reviews. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. Later.